All right, everybody. All right, all right, all right. Troy the Foodie here. Let me straighten out a little bit. Like I said, we're doing some work in the kitchen. It's not done, but I can cook, baby. I can cook on this stuff. Okay, so, like I said, I wanted to do a, I wanted to do a nice seared tuna. I have the tuna marinating right now in the fridge. I wanted to do, this is what we're doing. We're doing, I guess you can call it in the day and age that we're in right now. We're doing a, uh, I'm doing a, um, what do they call this? Quarantine meal. <laughs> or, well, I like to call it pantry meal. These are things that you probably will have in your pantry. Now, the fresh fish you can get weekly. You know, there's different meats and things that are on sale. And some people may not be meat eaters. I'm not going to pour all this off. I made some brown rice. Got some brown rice rocking right here. Forgive me for the, the water spillage. But I want to show you something. Because I do not like dry brown rice. I do not like hard brown rice. I like fluffy. See how fluffy this is? Look at that. Look at that. Fluffy. I like fluffy. Fluffy rice. Fluffy. Oh, it's spilling all over the place. <laughs> yes. This is impromptu and live and direct. Okay. Heat up the pan a little bit. You don't have to heat it up before you put these. So I want brown rice and peas. So I'm just using some sweet peas. Some regular sweet peas. No salt. Doesn't need salt because I salted the rice a little bit. So I'm going to pour the sweet peas with the sauce in the pan. If you're like me, I love, like I love split pea soup. I like using the, the broth and sauce from my peas while I'm eating other food. I use it in my pastas. For me, with my Zoe meals, you'll find out a lot of the Zoe meals that I don't have like tomato sauce in because my daughter is allergic to citrus acid or an overwhelming amount, too much citrus acid, tomatoes, stuff like that can break her out. So I try not to put tomato sauce, tomato sauce and things like that in her meals. Uh, I.e. why I created the Zoe menu. Okay, so we have the brown rice. We have the sweet peas rocking and rolling. And once the sweet pre peas get a little, you don't have to over, of course they're canned. You know, canned vegetables are damn near done already. So <laughs> you don't have to, they're just, we're just getting them warm and then we're going to mix the brown rice in with the peas. If you want to season it more, season it according to your taste. I actually put a little tarragon, a, a bay leaf in the water while I was boiling the brown rice. And then I salted the brown rice after it was done to give it a nice flavor. Sweet peas already, peas already have their own sauce. They already have their own sauce. My hands are cleaner than ever because of quarantine cleaning. Okay. <laughs> so, the peas are rocking and rolling. I have this pan here. Gonna, this is where we're going to sear our tuna. Always helps when you have a top that fits more than one pan. Isn't that wonderful? So, a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Just a little bit. We're not, now, here's the thing with tuna. Everybody has their own flow. Some people may not. The proper way to cook a tuna so that it tastes phenomenal is not to cook it. You're not trying to cook it, you're searing it, okay? So, and don't forget, when you do a marinade, the marinade starts, especially if you have a marinade that has anything with vinegar in it. I did a marinade, here's this beautiful tuna. Look at that beautiful tuna steak. Oh my goodness. So I did a marinade with some mustard. It's like a honey mustard herb marinade. But it's, it's pretty much just yellow mustard, honey, uh, cracked ground pepper, flat, cracked, crushed, or you know, it's a pepper, pepper mill. Ground pepper, freshy pepper, <laughs> chopped onion, and a little bit of honey. And for citrus, we want to put citrus in the stuff and make sure we got our, our little citrus flavor. I did a red orange citrus, squeeze the red orange in there to add to the marinade. And it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. So, we're heating this up. We want the pan to get pretty hot because we're searing it. But 
I was just gonna do the seared tuna, and then I realized, look in the pantry, see what you got. Look in the pantry, see what you have. And I had some sesame seeds. So we're gonna do a, a, a seared sesame seed tuna. I put a little garlic, I did mix a little garlic in, okay? So remember, we have the marinade, the marinade, and I let it rock and roll for a little while. I let it marinate for over an hour. I, the key thing is, if you're cooking and you're trying to cook everything at once, since the rice took about 40 minutes to, to cook properly, real rice, real brown rice, um, since it took 40 minutes to cook, I let the tuna marinate for those 40 minutes in a little bit longer. So let's say the tuna rock and rolled for about an hour, 15 minutes. Okay. You don't have to, it's tuna, you know, it's a light meat. We're only searing it, but this marinade, all right, so we're going to put this, put this in the sesame seed, flip it, get it nice and crusted, cover it up a little bit. And remember, we're searing this, we're searing this. So in searing this, we're probably going to let it cook about two, maximum three minutes on each side, if that. But we're going to do it live. I'm trying to do this live right here, here in direct, so you can get a feel for what's going on. Oh my God, that smells so good. It smells amazing. So, have that rocking and rolling. And if you can't, we won't catch all the you won't catch all of this on the IGTV, but it will be on YouTube. So we'll put the whole video on YouTube. Uh, we're trying to make sure we have things like we say that you can do at home. That you can make happen. And don't forget, we're talking about having the right things in your pantry. You always want to keep rice. You always want to keep some noodles, some kinds of pasta if you eat these things. If you're a vegan, you want to make sure you load up on, I know some people are like, well, I don't like, you can find canned goods with not as many preservatives, okay? Okay, so let's sear the side a little bit. And we want it hot. We want it hot, y'all. Okay. So the peas are done. Ooh, Lord, when I tell you it smells good, it smells wonderful. Okay. Flip this. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous golden brown. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to overcook it. I just want it seared. Okay. I just want to sear it. I do not want to overcook it. Remember that we're not trying to overcook the tuna. We just want to sear it. <laughs> Sounds like a, a, a set. Okay, while we're searing this tuna, give it a little golden brown. Get the sides a little bit. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Okay. Now, let's uh, mix up, let's mix up our pumpkin rice. So, we're just going to take the brown rice and mix it in.
And you can add whatever flavor. If you like Cajun, if you like spice, if you want a little heat to your brown, your peas and rice, then you can do that too. This, for me, is just basic. If you're a vegan, you can do... If you want something different, you want something meaty, do mush. I love mushrooms. I don't know how many of you out there love mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Love, love, love mushrooms. So, see? Brown peas and rice. Brown rice and peas. Okay. Some of the stuff out there. This, I actually turned the heat off. Let me sear a little bit more. We should be good. I actually like my tuna pink inside, so I want it to stay pink. Okay. But cook it to your preference. You have your own preference. You do you. <laughs> Let's start Okay. So, approaching about 12 minutes of this. Get some of this delicious peas and rice going. Make a bit of it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I normally don't do it on this at all, but I want you guys to see what's happening. Okay. And cooking a good amount of peas and rice, you have that for whatever meal you want to work it with later on. Tuna is nice and seared. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Okay. So, like I tell you guys, you don't have to work too hard. It sounds like a whole set going on back here. <laughs> Stuff falling over. You don't have to work too hard. You know? You want to work smart, right? Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to slice it in four. Slicing it four. Yes. Okay. So, and this is the color. Yes. So you want it like a, a nice pink color. Yes. 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 But you get the idea. So, sesame, sesame crusted tuna over. Over peas and brown rice. Bon appétit.